This would be number three tape that I uh, put up. It belongs with one, two, and three, obviously. I've got them a little bit out of askew, I think. Anyway, I wanted to add to this about I left off the second tape with Megan and Harry and Samantha and um, where the Samanthas fit in to the mind control murders and would prove it if you get it up there in well anyway uh i want to end it this this third tape here um let's go back to oj simpson when he shot nicole brown simpson his ex-wife okay i'm not going to tell you where the oj came into play prior just prior to all this and this was one i must said was mind control Okay, he, well, let me say this. I'm not going to try to get in explaining the O.J. part. Simpson has to do with Wallace Warfield Simpson was supposed to have married King Edward VIII. That's the way history tells you, and he abdicated, and they became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, which is a total friggin' lie created by the Illuminati. And I'm going to explain this, and then I'm going to the O.J. Simpson and, and something I've just put up, because it does connect the other tape, two tapes. Oh, if I can get my mind on track here, <laughs> or whatever. I'm tired, and I didn't think I was going to put up another one, so let me hurry and get this up. So O.J. Simpson, the Simpson part goes to Simpson, as in the district attorney I worked for after they almost killed me in April Fool Day of 82, and I put all that up, a letter from the FBI doing the book, Larry Flint being shot, and I don't mean that about Mr. Flint being shot on a trivial basis or anything. I'm very sad that he was shot, and his wife died, Althea. But back to this, uh, if I can get back to it now. Um... Worked for the district attorney, Simpson, Madison County. So you get into placements where it fits into patterns. Um, so now you've got O.J. Simpson shoots, and there was something else happened just previous to that. Him uh, shooting and killing, well, he was programmed. Uh, Nicole Brown Simpson and uh, Gold, Goldman, was his name Goldman? Yeah. And the, I think he shot the dog, didn't he? Uh, or cut the throats, I believe. Oh, gosh. But anyway, I knew then um, it was a mind control murder. And also some stuff they did to me here in Roanoke, down at the, Mar down at the federal building, marshal's office, and some things. Yeah, it was with the marshal's office. Yeah. Anyway, it's like role-playing and fitting it together, but it, I had said and I always said that O.J. was programmed. And his uh, nephew, I believe it was, or cousin worked for the police department out there. He tried to, t the Los Angeles, he tried to tell people that he dreamed it, that O.J. dreamed it. This is a bit, I don't know the ins and outs of mind control other than you do it, well, you can do it with a ham set. Your satellites now are so many out there, your communication satellites and everything. It's a horror story. If, if uh, the truth is finally told, it's a horror story anyway. And it, here's the kicker. If anybody tries to tell about it, about the programming and people being programmed or da-da-da, they try to say those that's programmed are telling about it are crazy. So they play the crazy card, which this is mind control. It went before Congress in 52, slap on the wrist, and they turned them loose. Uh, so the programming now is so efficient. They can program armies. That's how your Virginia Tech next door, they program the, the kid, the student, to shoot all those and then shoot himself. They, and they programmed... Uh, Robin Williams to appear to murder himself. The Ventura out there was programming the Parkland in uh, Florida, and they're going to bring in teachers with guns and program the teachers to come out and shoot students. What are you going to do then? Are you pilots that can are programmed to fly 
the KAL into the ocean and drown all those aboard. And supposedly, Dr. Larry McDonald, congressman, U.S. congressman, was aboard. Well, that was a friggin' lie. I think I've heard Nixon was taken off uh, just before the plane went up, uh, off into oblivion and into the ocean. Supposedly, they took down the plane to get rid of or pretend to get rid of Larry McDonald. So he is possibly still alive. So here you got Nancy Pelosi and all this mess up there today focusing on uh, don't build the wall, uh, shutting down Congress. I only hope it's not good, uh, good cop, bad cop. Obviously, I'm thinking the good cop would be Donald Trump, but I hope he truly is, okay? Anyway, back to if I can get back to where I was now, the O.J. Simpson. Um, I did want to add this part since I, ju I just am going to put it up. I just did the video about Mark from Oregon's spinoff for Pam Daubery on My Sister Sam was a spinoff, and um, as in Samantha. So you can... Uh, watch that one. <laughs> I'm rambling a bit in it because this is not normally I don't well I put it up a long time ago but I'm adding to like um, Meghan Markle, Mary and Harry and of course they're illegal. I'm the real monarch <laughs> sitting over here and her sister's name was Samantha. Meghan's is. She's white and, and uh, biracial is uh, Meghan. And it, uh, married with children fits into all this. So, I, and I've told this before. And I guess, to me, it's clues to my identity and what I've been telling. Now, whether it ends up any good on my half, I don't know. And my father's, and I hopefully, on behalf of the British, you know, everything's been changed so bad. I wonder if I have a home. Um. Anyway, I wanted. I was talking about O.J. Okay, now I want to tell you who lives down the street. Let me get this right now. I'm kind of tired. Yesterday I did some. Okay, let me make sure. Oh, yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, O.J. Simpson, where he lived when supposedly shot Nicole and it showed his home out in L.A., Okay, just two doors down, I believe it was, because I remember it being shown on TV where Mark Mark Harmon, who married Pam Daubery, they're still married, I think, live next to O.J. Simpson. So you're going to say, what's the connection there then? So they live down the street from O.J. Simpson. Well, I'm telling you about Pam Daubery now, the murders there, the Samantha, and connecting it on these two three tapes I'm putting up. She is married to, and still is married, as far as I know, to Mark Harmon. Well, it's using the name Mark, so maybe somebody's going to come in and say, well, that was a coincidence. I don't think it was. All this links together, and there's some more that I honestly, at the moment, don't know. <laughs> I, I s put it down, and I didn't have anything to write on that... Well, I know there's some more stuff up here I wanted to put up, but I'm not. Okay, that's it for today, I hope, and I hope you can make some sense out of it. Although, if something's not done about it other than trying to shut me up, what's the point? Because it's going, it's, I'm, this is true, I never thought it would end this way or anything. Um, what I was writing about leads into the end times, and I've put that up there was just to support my theory, not a theory. Um, the UN sitting up there now, and it's run by Henry Kissinger, and the lobotomy he was going to have performed that's on the 18 and a half minute gap that was subpoenaed by the Watergate committee, and the gaps in it, and it was done. The phone call to have it done was made right from the White House office on the phone in Nixon's office, and the secretary, Nixon's secretary, tried to cover it all up. So Henry Kissinger's the head of your global government now, and he's the one that was at a charity event where Diana was giving away uh, 
gowns or auctioning them off for charity. I thought maybe you all would like to give me a little back of what you took from me, Diana and Charles and Elizabeth and Philip and your bloody uh, uh, George the Illegal Six that the Illuminati, your UN, put into place. Your UN is your end times right now up there that control everything. Uh, headquarters for the uh, uh, Rockefellers and all this is right there. Now get your connections on back to uh, Hillary. Oh, Hillary Clinton. She is a high-ranking member of the Illuminati and him, her husband. Uh, Elizabeth is way up at the top. Some of my other family, I hope, they didn't do it by choice, my other part of my family, but I don't know. They are. But you should get the hundred list. That's, uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of Illuminati. All, they're all over the world. Freemasons and Huntsville, Alabama and everything. So I'm going to uh, go. I'm babbling, I suppose, and I don't want somebody to come out here and handcuff me, right? 